yeah, practice was good today. You know, we had a long tournament in Portland. We love going to that tournament, but it is a longer time to be away from home and just hard on your body and whatnot. So we got two days off and we're back for training this week. But yeah, it was really good. I mean, thank God it's not raining. That's always a plus. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, as far as uh, getting, you know, these are final final days and obviously the tournament was um, also helped out. So how, what do you think is like the final things that you wanted to work on to get ready for this? Yeah, well, it? yeah, I feel like, um, you know, since I've been on the league, since I've been in the league, the preseasons have become longer and longer and longer, which is like a good thing because we have so much time to work on certain things. So actually, I feel like we're really prepared. Our coaching staff has gotten us ready. I mean, even playing in the Portland tournament, I feel like we knew exactly what we were supposed to do. And now it's just fine tuning those things. Before we came to practice, we watched film for like 40 minutes because there we're like inches off of it just being really, really, really good. So um, really this week is just focusing on what we do well. I mean, obviously, Washington is a team that has definitely, you know, given us trouble for the last couple of years. Um, you you know, people don't forget two years ago we lost in semifinals. So, um, you know, we just have to go out and do what we can do and hopefully, you know, cause problems for them. I guess, how's the, obviously the confidence has to be high. You guys won the, the league last year, I mean the regular season league. So, I mean, how do you feel like going into the, your first game there on the road? Play, obviously, you said it's a tough place, a team that's given you some problems. Yeah, I think this year is really exciting. I think we made some pretty good, we added some good additions to the team. I mean, Sonnet is just such a addition, you know, asset to this team for sure. Such a good player. That's just another winner on our team. So I think we're all really excited. I mean, last year we obviously, you know, got Jordan Heidema. Um, you know, we've just been adding pieces over the years. You know, I got here not too long ago, you know, so I think we're really excited for this year. I think we have such good players in every, every spot that we have. And then our bench is super, you know, it's a it's a depth, depthful bench for sure. So I think we have a lot of excitement surrounding this season. Obviously, we want a repeat of winning the Shield, but more, most importantly, we want to win the, the championship at the end. How are you kind of balancing wanting to be, you know, with the World Cup and also with the season? Like, is there any kind of different mental approach for you specifically this year? I think that personally, I just try to pretend like there's not. Of course, in the back of my mind, the World Cup is coming up. You know, Vodka is going to be making decisions, but ultimately, the, the way I'm going to make that team is if I'm playing well with my club team. You know, we have this camp coming up, hopefully if I get invited. Um, and then, you know, we have a month and a half, like a pretty long stint with our with our club team. So for me, I'm, I'm not really focusing on the, the World Cup. I'm just focusing every day with the rain. And then, there, you know, I feel like if I do well, then that will all pay off and hopefully I'll be selected for the World Cup. Did you ask anybody as far as, like, is that the way to, to go? Is that something that you, like, how did you come to the decision to even approach it that way? I just think I've been a pro for a long time and I'm, I've realized, you know, it took a while, but I realized that thinking ahead is never, never serves me. It's really just staying in the moment and being present because if I think too far ahead, then, you know, I just feel like I won't be able to focus on like the task at hand. And right now what I'm focusing on is her game versus Washington. Speaking of versus Washington, I mean, what do you know about them? Obviously it's, you know, the first game except for the little scrimmages they've had but I mean what do you know about them and what do you remember from last year? Well I mean they have some really dangerous players on their team I mean they obviously have had a lot of changes over the last couple of years new coaching staff um, even new you know front office you know so they've had a lot of change which I think can be difficult for a team going into a new season but I mean they have really good players on their team we're always you know talking about their goal scorers um, even their back line is solid so I feel like they're always going to be a good team regardless so we're excited and again I think we really just need to focus on ourselves that's ultimately what Laura always tells us it's about what we can do because when we're on our A game then I do think we're a little unstoppable um, you seem to be roaming around the field a little bit more in the um, preseason tournament in Portland wondering if that's a bit of an update to your position or if Laura's been giving you freedom for any particular reason well, I just, going off of what I said, we have so many, you know, uh, versatile players on our team. So you look at Sonnet, who right now is playing in the midfield, but she's very familiar playing out wide and in the center. So I, and same with Jess, you know, we can all, and same with Rose, we can all just kind of interchange. Boats as well can play out wide or inside. So I just think it's just knowing that we all um, just need to be aware of where each other are. So if I see someone out wide, then I'm just going to go in. It's, you know, I just think that we have the key players that we need to be able to play a system like that because the more we're moving, I just think it's harder for, for teams to, to deal with us. Do you think it's easier to achieve that this year now that you've had some time together last season? I know Sonic's new, but in terms of Rose and Phillips. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, um, you know, last year we just added Jordan, and so even getting her into the team, it's always difficult to do that. Now that we've had more time this year, I, I just think that our team is going to be really good, and I'm really excited. 
What do you think is the uh, um, biggest key for you guys this season? I think the biggest key is always just fine tuning what we're good at. Um, you know, last year I think you know our defense was really good. We we allowed the least amount of goals the whole season, which obviously as a defender I'm very proud of. Um, but our backline is obviously really good. I think it's just you know last year a theme was you know we created all these opportunities, but we weren't scoring a lot of goals. And we're going to continue creating opportunities because that's just the type of players we have on this team. Very creative, um, very like you know goal oriented. Now it's just can we finish those opportunities and, and get the goals up? Because I think that we have some really quality goals. Scorers. I mean, Jordan Heidema, um, Balser, I mean, they're unreal. They're, they would be a starter on any team in this league. So um, I think that will be the biggest key for us. And then just, again, fine-tuning what we're good at and just focusing on ourselves. Can I, can I ask about just one? Oh, go ahead. I have one much, much less serious question. Fans are wondering how Daisy has adjusted to the move from Tacoma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Daisy's been struggling. Um, yeah, no, she, she like, so I just moved into a new house and I think she just has a little bit of anxiety. Yeah. So she has been chewing the doors when I leave. Um, but she's good. Yeah. yeah. Contrary to what I just said, she's good. Yes. <laughs> um, I've been leaving a lot. So I think she just is nervous. You know, every time I leave the house, it's like, well, are you going to be gone for a minute? Or are you going to be gone for 10 days a month? You know, cause obviously it switches, but she's good. She's loving it. She hangs out with uh, her friend, Simon. And Claudia's dog every day, so she's she's staying social. Do you find it hard to leave so much during the season, especially because you have a dog at home? Yeah, I think it's really hard. I mean, I'm lucky because my parents, you know, they're just an hour flight away. So if I really, really need them, um, you know, my dad's coming in the next couple of days. <laughs> but it's, I mean, it's difficult. I was never intending to to have a dog during this time of my life, but I fostered Daisy, and as you guys can see on social, you can't. She's so cute, you know. I just I couldn't give her up after a couple months, no one wanting her. I was like, all right, well, I guess I have to. Keeper, <laughs> but yeah, she's doing good. Right, I one. wanted, to, yeah, I just wanted to ask about Sam. Um, you know, being a few years now with the team, seems like she, uh, I don't know, should she take on more um, as far as off the field with the team or even on the field? Like, like how are you seeing her fit in? Yeah, Sam Hyatt's ab absolutely incredible. I think, like, you know, we have some pretty big names on our team, and so her name kind of flies under the radar. I mean, last year there were some funny uh, nicknames for her on Twitter, like Sammy the Shredder or Sammy the... I don't even remember some of them, but it was just so funny. We were like, yes, people, start talking about Sam Hyatt because she's so good. She's such a solid player um, and such a good person as well. But I just think for someone like Sam, and I think she knows this, but just knowing how important she is to the team, I mean, she's so good at breaking lines, so solid defensively. She's quiet, but if we didn't have her, I mean, it would be really noticeable, you know? So I think Sam Hyatt is one of the most underrated players in the league for sure. Um, I'll, I'll go tell her that right now. I'm sure she would love to hear that. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> I have nothing but good things to say about Sam. Cool. Thank thanks, you so everyone. much. Thanks. Hey, thanks, guys.